All right, let's dissect Coin Bureau's take on Tau and set the record straight. First up, the DARPA connection. Coin Bureau thinks military origins are suspicious. But remember, the internet itself came from DARPA, same with GPS and microwave tech. When good tech comes from military research, it usually changes the world, not tanks it. Next, early investor drama. Coin Bureau claims VCs got special allocations. The fact is every major project has early backers. Ethereum had a public sale and Bitcoin had early miners. What matters is what's built, 52 active subnets, hundreds of thousands of GPUs, and real computational power. Moving on to the no clear revenue argument. Coin Bureau asks, where's the money coming from? Let's look at the facts. 18 global hyperscalers spent $37 billion on AI compute in 2023, and the cloud computing market hit $626 billion in 2023. AI compute demand is growing eight times faster than supply. We're not chasing revenue, we're building infrastructure. Then there's the mining economics criticism. Coin Bureau says $4.3 million daily emissions are unsustainable. Compare that to Bitcoin's $41 million daily and Ethereum's $22 million daily. The difference? Tau emissions back actual compute power. Each Tau equals access to decentralized AI infrastructure. On to limited applications criticism. Coin Bureau points out only five apps, three working. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. Right now, Bittensource Network boasts 18 apps each serving different purposes in AI, ranging from text-to-speech models to distributed computing for AI inference, and even predictive models for things like sports and Twitter data analysis. Let's talk about achievements. Bittensore isn't just sitting still. Omega Labs, SN24, became the most downloaded AGI multimodal dataset on Hugging Face with over 123K downloads. Graphite, SN43 solved the traveling salesman problem 300 times faster than commercial solutions. Bitmind, SN34 has developed a top-performing deepfake detection model, and there are many more. We're talking models that outperform GPT 3.5 and Elama 3, generating over 21 million images daily, pushing the frontier of AI innovation. What the critics fail to grasp is that infrastructure and scalability are what matter most in these early stages. And remember, OpenAI started with one app, Google started with one search bar. What matters is infrastructure and achievements. BitTensor boasts groundbreaking progress with apps like Omega Labs and Graphite solving complex problems faster than commercial solutions. Finally, the Bitcoin mining theory. Coin Bureau says it's just support for Bitcoin miners. The truth? AI compute is its own revolution. Google is planning seven nuclear reactors for AI, Microsoft is reopening Three Mile Island. Meanwhile, BitTensor already has more compute power than some nations. TLDR Coin Bureau missed the fundamental revolution. It's not about pretty apps or immediate revenue, it's about building the backbone of tomorrow's AI infrastructure. Read my full post on X for more. This isn't financial advice, it's a factual beatdown of outdated analysis. Always do your own research. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into the BitTensor world. Catch you in the next one.